I've been looking at this electric car company now for quite a while. Why? Because very soon, millions and millions of people outside of China will be able to buy one. And also because it just happens to be the best value electric sedan in the world. Period. friends welcome to the channel on the electric viking great to see you welcome to the new subscribers welcome back everyone else and thank you for subscribing thank you for being a patreon to the channel and thank you also to those of you who are members it's great to have you as members being a member does enable you to see our videos beforehand for everyone else i'll put a link in the description below to how you can become a youtube channel member Leap Motor plan on selling their electric vehicles next year in Europe. That includes their SUV, the C11, and their similarly sized in terms of exterior length coupe slash sedan called the C01. If you see the pricing of these cars, the specifications, the features, the fact that they have cell, or at least the C01, has cell to chassis technology, meaning it's lighter weight, and has some other amazing benefits. And you see, you look at the prices, the battery pack sizes, frankly, they're incredible. Equally as incredible is Leap Motors, essentially a nothing company, about two years ago, to selling 12,000 electric vehicles per month for the last three months in a row. Leap Motor first began selling electric cars in April of 2020. They delivered 117 that month. The following year, April, they delivered 2,770. But then by December of 2021, that number had risen to 7,800 per month. Fast forward to July of 2022, and they delivered 12,000 electric cars, then 12,500 last month. That means that Leap Motors electric vehicle sales have increased 180% year over year. Very, very promising. Why are they selling so many EVs? Well, because they're so well priced. The specifications are next level. And because they're not one of those companies that are just sitting still. They saw what Tesla planned to do with their cell to chassis technology. And they went, you know what? Why don't we do the same thing? Now they claim they've beat Tesla to market with their cell to chassis technology. Now, maybe that's true. Maybe that's not. Depends on the technicalities, how you look at it. Ultimately, I'd say Tesla actually beat them to market, but they claim that they've won that race. doesn't really matter. The key point here is, for an incredible price of only $28,000 US dollars, you can get a massive, a massive sedan. It's just over five meters long. In other words, it's actually bigger than a Tesla Model S, has more interior space. And frankly, the price is something that I think most of us could actually afford. I looked at the Leap C11 a few months back. That's their electric SUV, which is based on this platform. Leap Motor plans on selling the C11 SUV and the C01 SUV slash coupe in Europe next year. And Bloomberg reported in October of 2021 that the startup could raise US 1 billion at an IPO listing in Hong Kong. Leap plans on entering the market in Europe with the C11 SUV First, the second model they'll enter Europe with is this car here, which is actually now on sale currently in China. There are five variants of this electric sedan. The 500 standard battery, the 606 long battery, the 717 ultra long battery, the 630 Pro, and the 630 Pro Plus. And all of them cost between 26,800 US dollars or 180,000 RMB up to the most expensive model at 39,800 US dollars, only 270,000 RMB. Honestly, you look at the specifications of the most expensive model for 39,800 US dollars, it is the bargain of the century. The thing will do three seconds, zero to 62 miles an hour. But even better than that is the battery range, more than 700 kilometers. Battery pack size, cell to chassis technology. The features you're getting for that price, truly, truly astounding. It's like being in a luxury limousine almost, 
and it's electric and it's just really, really affordable. TopElectricSUV.com says that the roofline is reminiscent of the Mercedes EQS, which explains the low drag coefficient of 0.226 CD. In fact, the irony here is, right, this car seems to be very similar in a lot of its details, aside from having a longer range, than the Mercedes EQS, but it's about a third of the price. Interior and features. The C01 gets a three screen layout, as you can see in the images. That includes a digital instrument cluster, a large central display, and a dedicated touchscreen for the co-driver. Sizes, 10.25 inches for both left and right screens, and the middle screen is 12.8 inches. In addition, all screens are powered by the new Qualcomm 8155P processor, and they support Flytek's 3.5 generation voice recognition and industry first face ID face recognition. This car is basically unstealable. This system has another industry first feature that's called the Android Virtual Machine with a 99% compatibility rate for popular applications. Moreover, there are 40 pre-installed functions that do not need downloading and are click to use. A bit different to the whole concept of General Motors Mercedes charging you for software, right? Additionally, the vehicle software is also compatible with Oppo and Apple devices where customers can use their smartphones or smartwatches to access functions of the car such as door locking, unlocking, and automatic driving in and driving out remotely. So yes, it has Summon, Tesla Summon, similar feature. The specs on this thing is just staggering for the price. Music lovers are in for a real treat. Thanks to the 12-speaker Hi-Fi 3D audio tuned by French Aramis professional tuning team, Leap Motor has taken another idea right out of Tesla's book here. A built-in karaoke system christened Lishi KTV is integrated into the infotainment, and the vehicle features a customized microphone for singers. Boot size is 17.5 cubic feet or 500 liters. And what is really impressive about this car, and it's one of the things that it's enabled Leap Motor to ramp up their electric vehicle production far faster than massive companies like Toyota. It has developed all the critical software and all the hardware in this car itself. Obviously, vertical integration matters for Leap Motor. And so does having the world's first cell to chassis technology. That's its, at least that's what it's claiming. The C01 measures 198.8 inches long, 74.8 inches wide, and 59.4 inches long, and it has a 115.3 inch wheelbase. On the metric scale, that's 5,050 millimeters or five, just over five meters long, 1,902 millimeters wide, and 1,509 millimeters high. Wheelbase, 2,980 millimeters or three meters. Now, personally, I think the wheelbase should be longer. It looks weird. The wheelbase really, in my view, is a bit too short. Those overhangs are a bit unusually long, that's just my take, and it's my, probably my only criticism of this car. Lit Motor says this is the first car to incorporate a cell to chassis or cell to frame battery system. However, BYD does have a similar system in its new SEAL model. The new technology integrates battery cells within the chassis frame instead of the battery being an add-on component. This has a couple of big advantages. One of those, it reduces weight, and the second of those is it reduces the number of components. It also makes the car more structurally rigid. All of this comes together for one impressive thing, increasing range. Thanks to the CTC technology, the number of parts has been reduced by 20%, meaning what? Well, Leap Motor can bring the price down, which is exactly what they've done. Weight has been reduced by 15 kilos. Battery layout space has increased by 14.5%. Leap Motor seems Leap Motor has really just ticked all the boxes here. I mean, increasing battery volumization by 15% is a pretty significant improvement. So what's the range? The top spec model? Actually, this, the model that costs only 35,000 US dollars with a single motor has 717 kilometers of range. That's 445.5 miles. I mean, maybe in the real world, you're looking at closer to 380 miles, but still, that's a massive range for price. In fact, this might be the longest range for a vehicle costing only 35,000 US dollars anywhere in the world. Now, Leap Motor says that thanks to its CTC or cell to chassis technology, operating range of the 90 kilowatt hour battery has increased by 10%. Leap Motor's variable architecture oil cooled electric drive has a maximum speed of 16,500 RPM, that's pretty fast, a comprehensive efficiency of 88.5%, 
and it tips the scales at only 85 kilos per motor. That's a very lightweight motor. The car also has an AI BMS Big Data Intelligent Battery Management System that provides protection at the cell level and controls battery power throughout its life cycle. Having a good battery management system is absolutely key to reducing battery degradation and increasing the life of the battery. Rear-wheel drive versions get a rear axle mounted electric motor that produces 272 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. That's 500 newton meters. The range topping variant of the C01 is the 630 Pro Plus. That has two motors, one at the front and one at the rear that together produce a power of 400 kilowatt. That's 536 horsepower. Torque is 720 newton meters or 531 pound-feet. Zero to 100 happens in just 3.6 seconds. This variant, in my view, basically eats Mercedes AMGs and BMW M-Class vehicles for breakfast. I mean, think about it, right? This vehicle costs 39,000 US dollars and it'll do zero to 60 in only 3.6 seconds. In fact, zero to 62 in 3.6 seconds. You might be thinking, oh, you know, it might be faster BMWs and Mercedes. Sure, but not by much. The difference would be minuscule. And remember, this thing is literally a quarter of the price of similarly powered Mercedes and BMW vehicles, a quarter of the price. That's crazy. Plus the range, cell to chassis technology, the features, the three screens, the audio system. I mean, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to finish. There's, there's so many things in this car that I love. I haven't even shared them all with you because otherwise this video would just go on forever. What about safety? Well, it's actually received one of the highest safety scores in Chinese safety testing history. The C01 has autonomous driving capabilities with 28 high precision sensors and 23 autonomous driving features. The system aids the driver in regular city driving, highway driving, light intersections, traffic congestion, etc. There is also AR real time navigation, APA intelligent parking, smart summon, and NAP intelligent navigation assistance, among many other features that I just, like I said, don't have time to go through in this video. These driving systems work in tandem with Continental MK100 ESC High Plus Body Stability Control System. Leap Motor says these electronics help the vehicle maintain stability in tricky conditions. Moreover, high strength steel accounts for 74% of the body. That's amazing. I don't know how they can do this at this price. 74% high strength steel. That massively reduces the weight of the car. And remember, I just talked about comparing this to say a Mercedes EQS. Well, there's a lot of features that this car has. Mercedes EQS, for example, does not have cell to chassis technology for one. Pricing of this car, incredibly, is the same in Europe as it is in China. Seriously, I can't understand this. That's in spite of a price increase. Now the C11 version, so the SUV version of this car, had a price increase on the 19th of March, 2022. The price increased to a base price of 25,000 US dollars. 25,000 euros. The top spec model, 32,000 euros. This is so hard to believe. It's absolutely staggering. This C01 sedan you're looking at right now, Lit Motor has stated a price range between 180,000 RMB and 270,000. That means the base model is going to cost 25,000 US dollars in Europe and the top spec model 37,800 US dollars. However, there's one thing I haven't talked about and it's one thing that European manufacturers, in fact, major global vehicle manufacturers will never do. These vehicles have a lifetime warranty. I kid you not. That's not unlike parts of the car, like this BYD warranty we get in Australia here where they cover, you know, some parts will last for six months, some parts for a year, some parts for three years, some parts for six years. This is on the entire car, lifetime warranty to the first purchaser. You sell it, that lifetime warranty, it changes. I don't know what it changes to, but it does. However, to the first original purchaser, you get a lifetime warranty. That to me is a kind of peace of mind you want from a new brand that is new to your continent, new to your country, and just new to your mindset as well. What's Lit Motor planning to do? They plan to launch at least one and as many as three models per year over the next few years. By 2025, Leap Motor says I'll have a total of eight new electric cars on sale in various countries around the world. Honestly, this company is going places. I'm actually very seriously even considering investing in their IPO. Why? Well, look at the video, look at the cars, look at the price, look at their sales numbers. 
This company is amazing. I'm very, very impressed. Yes, it is in China. No, it's not controlled by the CCP. No, it's not owned by the Chinese government. That's a good thing. What's even better than all of that is the fact that more and more people, well, especially people in, in Europe, will soon have access to a car that is clearly the best value for money, electric car, electric sedan, anywhere in the world. Let me know if you agree or you disagree with that comment in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.